right, everybody, welcome back to our coverage of the 2018 Corvette and Chevy Expo here in Galveston, Texas. Now, as I walk around and look at all these amazing cars, the one thing that impresses me is the uniqueness and the fun that you have displaying your Corvette, displaying that pride with a theme. Well, for this next car, you better buckle up because we're gonna take you on a trip through time. This is Steve and Luann from Houston's Time Traveler Stingray. Before we get into talking about the theme that I think is probably one of the most unique, most in-depth themes I've ever seen on a Corvette, first I just want to say hi to Steve and Luann uh, and thank them for their business because this is actually the first time I've seen you guys since you bought that car years ago. Yes. And I actually met them at this venue, the Corvette and Chevy Expo, so it was really neat to see how far, I mean, how far the cars come. But here, before we talk about the car, again, thank you, you guys. Uh, you've been really enthusiastic Corvette owners, and it's been an honor to work with you. But here's how crazy this guy is. So let's just tell a story real quick. You order the car from me, you're going to do a museum delivery. Yes. And by the way, Luann, I love your shirt. Time to go, baby. That's right. So we, again, more on that in just a second. So you're getting ready for the museum delivery. Steve finds out that he needs bypass surgery. So this is how nutty Corvette is to you folks. He asked the doctor, um, can I wait a little bit for the surgery? I got a vet to go pick up. <laughs> the doctor must have thought you were freaking crazy. <laughs> you looked at me a little strange. Right, yeah. And, you know, I just asked permission if I could go, and he said, well, if it was me, I wouldn't do it. Right, no, yeah, so you had the surgery. God bless you. I'm glad you're okay. And then went and got the vet. This is a backwards running car. Yes. <laughs> I love it. You didn't miss a thing on this car. You really didn't. I mean, and I don't even know where to start. I'm going to let you start. The, the concept was to... Uh, show the life of the Corvette from the first one that rolled off the assembly line, okay. actually was pushed off the assembly line, <laughs> to what they're creating today in Bowling Green. Yes. Uh, this goes back, pays tribute to all of these cars that have been built this, through this time. And uh, we decided to incorporate parts of the cars uh, throughout the history and we started the clock. 6.30.53 is when, it, when, the, when the clock started running. And the first one came out, and it was a polo white, red interior, and that was no choices. It was that or nothing. Yep. Um, we, and the clock is still running as we're standing here and, and discussing it. Yep. Uh, the paint is basically an idea of steampunk versus time travel uh, going forward and backwards in time as, uh, as you want to go works off the theory of relativity, which was con uh, brought up by Einstein, mm -hmm. the possibility of time travel. Uh, there is a, uh, a clock that's on the back of the car that basically is what is believed. There is no real knowledge of it. It's understood that Einstein and Salvador Dali were social friends. Okay. And in their uh, friendship, Einstein explained a theory of soft time. Hmm. to Salvador Dali, and it's believed at that time is when he painted his, one of his famous paintings of the melting clocks. The melting clocks. So we decided to involve that into the car theme also. Uh, if you are a pretty good avid Corvette fan, you will also find another gentleman in Corvette history called John Tudor. And he was a gentleman that was accused uh, of being a fake, but he claimed to be a real time traveler. Uh, he used a, uh, a C2 to travel and actually he had some really good, I would call it props, and and, and he had a convincing story. Uh, so we used some of his real life uh, things to, to bring the car also to life and give it that tint. We tried to use as much history and uh, authenticity as we could, but yet not to go down a DeLorean road, right. as most of you are aware of the DeLorean. Well, I think what's neat, when you look at this car, though, and the way that you've got the theme, that because it is the time travel theme, 
I don't even think about DeLorean. And normally you would, but you guys have done such a nice job, you and Luann, on the little different pieces, parts, and just the decorative things, and the way you told the story, that you don't think about DeLorean. You really want to know more about the story uh, of time travel and this car and what it represents, and it, it's well done. And, you know, it's just the history of, of uh, the Corvette uh, build throughout the years. Uh, we try to pay tribute to that. Um, and, and we hope that when you see the car, it, it portrays that. Uh, almost everything's been painted on it. There's no decals. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the questions we get asked is how do you get yeah. the decals so straight? Yeah, I noticed you painted the edge of the, this is a glass top on the car. Correct. And you actually painted the edge. So this is painted to kind of emulate that uh, exposed carbon fiber look that they that they sold for two thousand dollars. But you have the benefit of both. You've got a top you can see out of, but you still have the painted edges follows the body lines of the car. You even took that B pillar air idea, which I think GM probably stole that from you because <laughs> now they make a decal for that. But you painted that. Yes, it's painted. Uh, most of this car has been a part. We we brought it home from the museum. We removed the hood, the fenders, the front bumper, back bumper, hatch. Uh, fenders. The only thing that has not been off this car within the first six months was the doors. <laughs> the doors are still factory because we just haven't figured out anything else to do with them. Right, right. Let's look at the back hatch. Okay. Talk about subtle details. I mean, and I noticed this right away uh, before Steve and I started talking. I mean, if you look at your Corvettes right now, this is usually a matte finish. Uh, you've painted this in the carbon flash and it looks fantastic. Yes. Uh, any type of artwork that, and it's kind of popular out there, when you do uh, artwork on your uh, pieces there the shade covers and stuff. shade covers and stuff you would want to put the uh, we painted it black so it's kind of the frame for the artwork itself yeah uh, if it's a lighter color it detracts from whatever you're trying to portray back there on the screen mm -hmm. so that is one of the reasons why we painted it black it also adds a real touch of finish to the car I believe I like you added the uh, the taller basically a level two spoiler but you also incorporated a little bit of color of red into the carbon flash and it goes great with the aesthetics of the car, it really does. We've done a, quite a bit to the back end. Of What'd you it. do those tail lights? The tail lights are what they call, uh, or the painter and I, we call them cherry. And basically, what we've done is we've taken black lacquer and uh, we cut it with a 50% lacquer thinner, and then we spray the the tail lights. So you get the black effect during the daylight, but yet the uh, when you hit your brake lights or your lights at night, uh, they are very functional. The one thing I would say is I wouldn't do that to your center light. Oh, okay. Uh, because it's a brighter light, and in these days and times, you want to make sure people do see you stop. Some uh, interesting logos in the back of the seats there. What's that all about? That goes back to John Tudor, uh, the gentleman who supposedly was a time traveler and used a vet to do it. Uh, probably more of a uh, not a realistic story, but it's a good theorist story. Uh, the idea was is the emblems itself are emblems that he showed from future military uh, that the U.S. would be using in the future. Uh, so I incorporated this that into the seat and, and put the word traveler in there because we are time travelers. Yeah, but there's something that's written in Latin. There, in there. there is Latin underneath there. Um, and basically, it, it's from the Romans, uh, and it basically says, time uh, destroys all, which is a very true statement. You took some time, you did some nice work over here on these vents, too. All these vents look, I mean, just, just incredible. I mean, that took some time and some detail. Got some red mesh underneath there. This is unbelievable. Now, let's this hood itself can tell an incredible story. And remember what he said, folks, the time traveler the clock started with the very first Corvette, uh, and it's represented underneath this hood, but where? Over on the left side, you'll see the uh, lettering, and, and what this represents is a Nexi tube clock, which was pre-Cold uh, War era that the U.S. and the Soviets both used. However, the Soviets still use them, and you can still get those tube clocks or tubes today, where the U.S. has gone more into the LED market. And as you'll notice on this side, we are celebrating the fact is that this car is still being made 630 uh, through. We don't know what the last number to put on there is because the Corvette's still in production. So Fantastic. we have no way of knowing what the end number may be, if there ever will be one. Hopefully there is not. Right in there, right above the hood extractor inside the car, 
that looks like a 53 dash. Yes. Oh my gosh. We tried to pull together all the, uh, especially the 53, the items off of that car to help uh, show where it's come from and where it's going, you know, hopefully where it's going. Oh yeah, and, and if you look at the hood underneath, I mean, all these streaks, I mean, it looks like you are traveling through time at a very high rate of speed and uh, just beautifully, beautifully done just on the hood liner. Look at this, you got more, you got more clocks and more gearing underneath in here. I mean, just, oh wow, look at this. That right there is a decal of the unit that is said that John Tudor used. What do you mean by that? John Tudor had a, uh, you can get the plans for time travel machine. He actually had it from uh, GE and it was a time displacement unit that he said GE made in the future and that he was able to use in the Corvette to travel back and forth in time. So we incorporated the model number we, we put on there to show uh, what he used. And now the serial number is a unique number. And Mrs. Pond, would you like to explain the serial number? What's the serial number, Luann? He said that's the day his freedom ended. The day his freedom ended. <laughs> the first part of the number is um, his initials, the day we met, the day we got married, and then my initials. How about that? Uh, so the car became very personal in, yeah. in, in our travel together. Right, there you go. And, uh, and our time is, has been great in the Corvette community. This is our second uh, car. Some third, yeah, it's my third Corvette. <laughs> but some of you might know my other one of my other cars is the uh, Tweety Bird. Yes, the yellow vet. <laughs> Steve said this reminds him something from a Terminator movie. <laughs> it's incredible. Wow. There you got a little representation of Einstein, huh? Yes. Uh, Einstein was a, generally the father of, of time travel, the theory of it. Yes. And so we tried to pay honor to him as in putting this theory together and uh, represent and give him a little credit for the idea of time travel. Look at the detail. I mean, every little thing. Even this piece here that is usually just plastic, that's painted carbon flash. We're talking about finishing it off and ready to show. <laughs> Air induction is all painted. talked about the 53 being represented underneath the hood and uh, look at right there on the engine anybody recognize what that is what is that Steve it's basically the blue flame special that was in the first six-cylinder engine that was in the first of that yeah and uh, we again we're trying, trying to pay uh, a little tribute there and notoriety yes. to the car there you go kids this is your time machine clock started right there the very first 53 Corvette clock is still running over there and who knows when it's gonna end talk about the little things on the car yeah all right so I've been just dying to know and I haven't gotten up close because I didn't want to disrespect the car but how the heck did you get the letters time traveler on the tires <laughs> it's one of the neat things I would advise perhaps people that once in their life they get an opportunity to go to SEMA you will see things that are on the cutting edge and uh, while we were there there was a gentleman that was uh, selling the idea of they call them tire stickers or tire letters and 
red wasn't exactly their big thing, but because I needed red to work with the car theme, sure, absolutely. Uh, they were able to produce them, and then I got schooling on how to put them on. Did it take you a while to do it? It did. Because uh, you've got time traveler twice per tire. Yes. And, and as you first start, you think, I'll never finish this. <laughs> I spent uh, the first night doing uh, two tires, and the next night, the second two. Oh, wow. Uh, and yes, it's, it's not as easy as they say, but it's worthwhile after you get it done. This is the most intricate theme, in-depth thought of, that I've ever seen on a Corvette. I mean, this is not just some showy theme. There's there's some thought process in this. I love it. We tried to make it a thinking man's car. Uh, a lot of people are overwhelmed by all the information being thrown in at one time. Yeah. Please understand, it took me almost two months of research and looking at artwork and, and making a theme that would flow from the front to the back mm -hmm. and make sense. Yes. Uh, and getting our airbrush artist on board because he couldn't wrap his mind around it and he finally tells Steve, if I can't imagine it, I can't do it. So what do you guys think? Impressive? Interesting? Absolutely. All that and a whole lot more right here from the Corvette and Chevy Expo 2018 Galveston, Texas. I can't thank Luann and Steve enough because that was more than just an education. That was really entertaining. Now, speaking of entertaining, remember, remember, uh, we showed Luann's car from the Fun Fest last year, and Fun Fest at Mid America did a new thing last year, and that was called a light show, which Luann and Steve won. They're like, well, let's see it. Well, yeah, let's see it. You guys got how many how many LED lights you got on this thing? Well, there's 26, 12, 18, there's 24 <laughs> feet of LED uh, underneath, Jeez. and oh. there's about that much inside. And since we've been here this weekend at the expo. They've not turned the lights on yet, so this is not only going to be a treat for myself, for you folks on the vlog, but everybody else here at the Expo. As they say in the Corvette business, light them up! series kind of the way that we started it right here on the pier out by the ocean hearing the waves feeling that breeze can you feel that breeze <laughs> it is pretty windy i better get out of the wind so you guys can hear me hey thanks again for the support you guys i really appreciate it not just for the business side of it but also too here on the youtube channel i really enjoy being a part of your corvette family now if you missed any of our vlogs from galveston there'll be links below there'll be links on the end screen here if you're on the youtube channel we have the app uh, that way you don't miss any of them because there were some incredible cars and some incredible stories that we were excited to share until the next time stop dreaming start driving talk to you guys soon